सब्सक्राइब टू बिजबो एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सी बोरिंग न्यूज टर्न इन टू एंजॉयबल स्टोरीज Why should India be deadly worried about an obscure war between two former Russian republics? For two decades, the militarily stronger Armenian forces had been eating up Azerbaijani territory in a series of sporadic wars. Even as the world was trying to cope with COVID-19, the Armenians in September 2020 plotted a massive attack. They amassed a huge battalion of tanks, artillery, and air defense systems at the border of Nagorno-Karabakh. a territory which was the bone of contention between the two countries confident of victory the armenians rolled into rival territory but within a matter of weeks their weaker azerbaijani rivals crushed them even taking back the territory occupied by the armenians over the last two decades the secret weapon responsible for their success were turkish made bayraktar tb2 and israeli kamikaze drones which went into battle undetected because Azerbaijanis used a ploy and sent in two old 1947 Russian jets as decoys to distract their opponents. Two fighter planes in coming. While Armenian forces were busy targeting the older planes, the drones who had stealthily reached their targets evading air defense systems violently unleashed their payloads, destroying more than a third of Armenian tanks. and forcing them to surrender and sign a ceasefire what should raise alarm bells for india from this conflict is the fact that the drones were supplied by turkey who are good friends with pakistan and always support them against india in international forums like fatf the june 27 drone attack on the indian air force station in jammu should be seen in that light Fortunately the attack missed the aircraft hangar and only managed to damage the roof of an administrative building nearby. The use of drones to mount a terrorist attack marks the beginning of a new security threat for the country. Exposing the vulnerability of conventional war fighting equipment against threats from loitering munitions. Yet India has ordered the hugely expensive 40000 crore 5.43 billion dollar S400 anti-aircraft surface to air missile technology from Russia and only belatedly placed an urgent 3 billion dollar order for 30 American Predator drones aka Hunter drones so called because they can fly for 40 hours at a stretch deep into enemy territory armed with air to ground missiles and smart bombs but until they arrive India are forced to make do with two rented unarmed Sea Guardian drones for long range surveillance in the Indian Ocean region. Increasingly, it will be drones and other unmanned technologies that indulge in warfare from now on. While soldiers will only be used on special missions. Way back in 2012, author Daniel Suarez's science fiction novel Kill Decision recreated a fictional scenario where automated drones identify enemies and make the decision to kill them, the kill decision without human intervention. Today that scenario has become a reality as miniature drones attacking in wave after wave of swarms seem to be the next frontier of military drone technology overwhelming enemy sensors with a deluge of targets the normandy landings that turned the tide of the second world war adopted a similar strategy but with humans where allied forces landed 156000 soldiers among whom 18000 were air dropped many of whom were either killed or wounded even before hitting the ground but the germans were so overwhelmed with the huge numbers that eventually they had to surrender interestingly we see the swarm phenomenon in nature quite often remember the recent locust swarms they had everyone running indoors for safety swarms allow smaller and less powerful creatures like the weaver ants in africa take out giant adversaries of larger species just like a pack of hungry hyenas can take down a lion when they compete for food today's algorithmic drones enhanced with machine learning and precise maneuvers can duck incoming missiles and bomb targets with precision wouldn't it be scary however if a rogue nation can equip their drones with a nuclear device and use it in a kamikaze style attack causing the same level of destruction as what happened in hiroshima and nagasaki where at least 135000 people died almost instantaneously or if the drones used for spraying pesticide on crops were modified to spray chemical agents over populated cities 
Between 1994 and 2018, more than 14 planned or attempted terrorist attacks took place using drones. Aum Shinrikyo, a Japanese cult group in July 1994, was the first to attempt a terrorist attack using drones. However, the most high-profile one has to be Israel's 2020 assassination of Qasim Soleimani, head of Iran's Revolutionary Guards, whose convoy was targeted with precision. Coming back to India, its defence forces have regularly been using drones to monitor the border area with Pakistan, which helps not only in spotting jihadis trying to cross the border, but also limits the smuggling of drugs and arms across it. The Directorate of Revenue Intelligence in May 2019 seized 85 high-end Chinese drones, which could have been intended for drug trafficking, espionage or terrorist activities. Busting a ring of smugglers from Pakistan, China, Myanmar and India that had already illegally brought in drones were 10,000 crore since 2017. Now with the Taliban's hold over Afghanistan, border drug smuggling is only going to get worse. In June 2020, the Border Security Force shot down a drone carrying a rifle, two magazines and a cache of grenades. That terrorists must be trying to get across the border so they won't have to carry the extra weight that would slow them down in case of hot pursuit. At least 300 drone threats have been sighted in India since 2019. There was even a drone hovering above the premises of the Indian High Commission in Islamabad where India had invited diplomats from other countries to commemorate 75 years of its independence. Was it clicking pictures of all who came, checking number plates or eavesdropping on conversations? While the US, China, Israel and Turkey have demonstrated superior drone technology, India's Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO developed anti-drone system has shown promise. It was deployed around the Red Fort area on the occasion of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's 2020 Independence Day address. Used during the then-President Donald Trump's visit to India earlier the same year and is also deployed at Tirumala Tirupati Temple for security purposes. The system can detect and jam drones up to 3 kilometers away and can fire a laser weapon at them when they are still a kilometer or two away. DRDO has been developing and testing unmanned armed drones since 2009 with Rustam 1 and 2016 with Rustam 2, which in a test flight flew for 8 hours at an altitude of 16,000 feet, but has not yet successfully been inducted into service. And though the Indian Army in Jan 2021 showcased a swarm of 75 drones carrying out multiple mock operations, including kamikaze attacks, first aid delivery and parachute payload delivery exercises, India has only seriously woken up to the drone threat after the July 2021 Jammu and Kashmir attack. The character of warfare has been changing continuously and the advent of drones and counter-drone systems has radically altered the way we think and how we will fight in the future. However, while drones can be countered with drones, the technology to counter swarm drones is still a work in progress with many under development. The drone hunter like Spider-Man fires a spider-like web-shaped net from its net gun to capture targets mid-air and tow them. Australia's drone shield disrupts radio frequency in the hostile drone's video feed and forces it to land on the spot or return to the operator. Canada-based Hyperstealth's cloak of invisibility is a patent-pending paper-thin material that, like in Harry Potter, bends infrared light, thus making the object it covers invisible to sensors. Delhi-based startup Hyperstealth is developing paints that can hide tanks from search sensors. While India is belatedly getting its act together on drones, they must keep track of other innovative military technologies like microwave pulse weapons, falsely rumoured to have been used by the Chinese on Indian troops occupying the heights in Chushul. So after sitting on an extremely restrictive 2018 national drone policy for three years that would have stifled innovation in drone technology, the attack in Jammu and Kashmir seems to have shaken the government, who quickly released an updated version of it. And surprisingly, it is quite a forward-looking policy that cuts licensing paperwork, permits recreational use of drones and cargo delivery via drone, provides dedicated corridors of green, no flight permission required, yellow, some restrictions and red, only for military. While India does need to build on its traditional defence capability so as not to be caught off guard, 
it also needs to focus on new age weapons technology bisbo's limerick drones have changed the face of war conventional weapons are powerful no more now incoming swarms will be warfare's norm until newer technologies will the balance restore Subscribe to Bizbo and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever Bizbo releases a new video. Sources of all our information is listed in the video description section.